Hello guys, welcome back to Big LT. Today I'm going to be showing you the evolution of tower beacons from in from incandescent to LED. So we're starting off with the old school incandescents. Um, I'm I don't know when they were when they when beacons were made for towers and stuff when towers were first being built back in the day. I don't know that. But this is from like the 50s, I think, or maybe earlier. The old, um, the old incandescent beacons, um, had clear glass with the red tubes covering the, the incandescent light bulbs inside the beacon. And, um, they, they were, they're pretty bright and they only shine red. They never shine white. And don't take out the, the, the red glass. If you want it to shine white, because it won't work. It'll just shine normal, um, whitish yellow, like normal light bulbs. So yeah, these things do not shine white. Even if even if the glass is clear, there's some red inside. So yeah, there's that. So tower towers have gotten those beacons. For as long as what for as long as I know, I think. And then um and then it and then one one year, um strobe lights were um, strobe light uh, tower strobe lights were invented for cell tower use. No wait, no. I meant to say just tower um high obstacle use for really tall obstacles like towers and stuff. I can't find uh I can't find a picture of a strobe light on here. So um these are just more incandescents. Alright, I found some strobe lights, so um yeah, let's get on to this. So, um I don't know any you can quote me on this, but I think the very first strobe lights that were made were um, single strobe lights that only shine white. I think those were the original ones until, until they, um, until they started adding red strobes to them. And, um, I seen an old picture of a tower climber. The, 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 the photo says, the photo is claiming that it was from 1972 and it, in the picture, it had one of these beacons on it. I don't know, but yeah, I seen it. It's it looked pretty. It was pretty old and stuff. So, I think um, strobe lights were used around that time. I think they were beginning to be used around that time. And then, and then, um, and then dual strobe lights were starting to be made. Back in like uh, I think it was started to be used in nineties, and I think the prime year for strobe lights were the nineties, two thousands, and two thousand tens. I think that's the prime years, the golden years for strobe lights. So, that's all the information that I know of. <laughs> I can't find any more information online can't find can't find that stuff so um yeah um i i don't know when um here just wait so um i have no idea whatsoever um on uh i have no idea when led beacon started to be made oops um I don't know. I I always thought they were around ever since the two thousands and stuff, but I really have no idea. I I there's one time where I heard that they were around in the nineties or something. I had no idea how long LEDs has been around. I got to search that up. So um, I I searched up when LEDs were invented, and um, some thirty three year old back in nineteen sixty two, um. Um, invented the very first LED lights, so they've been around ever since the 60s. Like, holy crap! 
I imagined LED. I imagine LED lights being um, being a nineteen nineties thing. Well, a nineties thing. I sh I should say. I never would have thought that LEDs were around back then. So, maybe LEDs existed back then as well. I have no idea. Now, I forgot to mention that the forgot to mention one fact about um about incandescent beacons. They're all, they weren't only used they they weren't just used for towers. They were also they were also used for airport landing pads to um for the airplanes and stuff. Yeah, that I heard I heard about that a long time ago on YouTube when I was searching up um tower beacons and stuff. Um yeah, I used to I used to crave that stuff back then. I always watch it. So <laughs> yeah. I found out that these were used for airport landing uh, landing grounds and pa landing pads. Yeah, I thought I thought that was pretty cool. I think that's the reason why there's a lot of these old school inc incandescent beacons uh, um left because usually when old towers are are taken down, usually they fall with the beacon still on, so the tower and the beacon both die, which is pretty sad. I I hate to think about that. It sucks. <laughs> So yeah, there's that. And then um I don't know what which year um I don't know which year these were made, but um um the reason why the the clear with the the clear um the the reason why the clear incandescent beacons with the red glass inside them are called old school is because there's a different version called modern um, incandescent beacons, which look like this looks looks like this one here on, on this GIF, and all these others as well. These are all modern, except for that one. But yeah, these are all modern incandescent beacons, and they and they're still being made today as well. There's towers and stuff that have incandescent beacons like there's one from 2012 which um somebody showed me and um his his youtube name is why is is why is aiden which um <laughs> he he said that i was was uh the only kid or teen i should say since i'm 16 he said i'm the only kid on on youtube that know that knows a lot about beacons and stuff like that and um yeah that's what he told me and he also told me that there were apparently street lights with these beacons on here well not the not the incandescents the the leds so yeah go to his um, youtube channel i don't know how to link all that stuff and i'm, I'm not that experienced yet but maybe one day i'll learn how to link stuff but yeah, modern modern incandescent beacons were made. All right, let's step into the 2000s and 2010s. All right, so we're back with the strobe lights. So um, almost every single tower that I known of, that from 2000 to 2000 from the 2010s and stuff, were um um had these beacons had. They are starting to, strobe lights are starting to pop up everywhere um, on modern towers back then. And some of them look pretty cool like this one, the Hollywell flash guard. That's, a, that's one. This is a flash technology. And there, there, were, um, there were a few choices of, of strobe lights. You got your two main choices of strobe lights. You got no wait no there are there are three main choices of strobe lights. You either have the you got the dual strobe light, um, the single strobe light, which a dual strobe light shines white and white at day and red at night, and then this is a single strobe light which only shines white. And then you got the do, then you got the single 
the single red strobe light or yeah the single red strobe light which um which are pretty rare i should say for for all i can say i don't see them too often the only time i see um um red strobe lights are um on tv towers since usually those have box strobe lights which are incapable of shining red so they have to have the they have to have those red strobes for night and um yeah this was a golden year for tower for towers and beacons since they were the good old um they were the good old strobe lights reliable all that stuff and flash technology also um they come they um <coughs> they um took the idea of a um they took a incandescent beacon. You know how tall those incandescent beacons are and stuff. Yeah, you see, they're usually this tall. Well, um, well, one day they um they um made this model here. I don't know. If this is a strobe light model, or if it's an incandescent model, but. There's one time where where Flash Technology um, took a nor looked at the normal um, in incandescent beacon, and for some reason they they decided to to take the to take their um, red in their red strobe lights and combine both beacons together, creating this beacon here, which looks like a strobe light, but but actually has an incandescent bulb inside. It's a, it's basically the exact same the exact same thing. It's an incandescent beacon, another type of incandescent beacon, but it does but it's not it doesn't have the normal um, tall glass that it usually has. Yeah, uh, my speech is horrible, so yeah, I, got, I apologize for that. So yeah, two thousands to two thousand tens. Those were good years for um, <coughs> strobe lights and, and all. But um, there's a, a there's a rise with LEDs, which I think I think started around 2012 or 13 is when is when everybody switched them over from strobe to LED, which was a very bad year for t for tower beacons and stuff like you know what i think um, in the middle of the 2010s um um tower um, towers were not forced to have their beacons removed and stuff like um like a lot of them actually still have their strobe lights well back then but not anymore um I think somewhere around 2017 I th or 18 is when is when tow is when towers and stuff were forced to where tower beacons were forced to be replaced and that was just a really really bad time for for towers which um if if um if you guys don't know I hate LEDs I hate 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 LEDs the only LEDs that are acceptable to me are the old school ones, which were the 2000s and stuff, I think. They were better than these. They're um somewhere around the the middle of the 2010s, um um there there are some LEDs that um that had a normal day mode. But um, it but on night mode it have it, it will have like the half second flash. It will flash really fast, and uh, yeah, it it was really horrible and stuff. And um, yeah, here's an here's another thing. So back in 2017 or 18 is when all this LED crap. Like you have to have an LED. On your towers, and when all that stuff started to begin, um, 
Um, you know how um, towers with strobe lights? Usually they will have um, normal steady markers that will not flash. They'll just stay steady and stuff. Um, yeah, that was good. That was, those were some good times. But these LEDs, these LEDs, then, you know, towers that have more than one beacon, like a beacon on top and two um, around the around the bottom of the tower or middle of the tower. Yeah, usually they'll have two sets of markers to, um, around the middle of the beacons and stuff. Uh, yeah, that was good. But with these, L but these LEDs, um, LED creators and but um, tower um stro tower um, beacon companies um were just were just um they didn't want those anymore they don't they didn't want the the markers and all that stuff for towers that have um for towers that have more than one beacon so you know say um a tower that ha has um three strobe lights one on top and two in the middle those will have markers but um if they were replaced by leds then the markers will will be removed and there will be no markers whatsoever. It will just be the beacons alone. And that that really made me mad when I found out that they were doing that, which which I found out in 2019 when I witnessed a few towers. Um, when I witnessed a few towers um, have their beacons replaced. Yeah, it was a really bad time. It was bad. I hated that, but you know what? Um, this picture here, it's uh, this beacon is half strobe and half LED. I don't know who came up with this here, but it's uh, it's kind of weird. I um, I think in two thousand nineteen is when I is when I found out about this beacon's ex existence. Man, that was really hard to say for some reason, but yeah. So um, yeah. And then there's one company that um, that created LEDs that ran on air. It'll it'll suck air into the middle of the beacon, and that's how the beacon. That's how the LED, um, the LED light inside the beacon would light up. They would flash like normal, but their night modes, the red, it'll be steady on red, which I did not like. And that's the reason why I don't like those beacons. They'll flash normal. On on day mode, but on night mode they'll just be steady like markers. Yeah, that's stupid. Let the mark the it needs to flash and not be steady to to alert planes on um to alert planes to where the top of the tower is, because um the beacon when the beacons flash that's that's um. A thing for the top for tower tops and the markers are for the middle so um so um aircraft will know um the top and the middle of the tower so they don't run into them and crash into them but these um that led did not do that and i i didn't like it so i'm going to pretend that they never existed we are currently still going through this LED phase. That's all I know right now. It's it's horrible. It it really is. All right, so this is one of my videos. So, as you can see, this mono I, I mean this mono pole um it used to have a normal. It used to have a single strobe light that shined white at day and red at night because of a red cone inside of the ta inside the beacon. But it's been replaced by an LED, and this is currently what LEDs look like nowadays. Um, here let's see. Let's show you this on day at day at least. You can barely see it flash. I don't know why. Usually, usually LEDs show up on my camera, but not this, but not in this video. So, um, yeah, today's L so t for for today's towers, um, if towers, um, 
if today's towers that only have one beacon, usually um, they will have markers, but they're not steady. They will blink with the beacon like they are on this tower. You know, when I, when I first seen it, I it was really cool and stuff, but um, it ruined this tower here. I I really loved how um, how the markers were steady back when this had a strobe, but that's all ruined now because of this. These LEDs. These stupid LEDs. I hate LEDs. So, yeah. There's that. Oops. That's a different mono. There's a, that's a different monopole. Let's get back to that one. So, yeah. This is the current state of LEDs. And um, I have no idea when when it's going to stop. Hopefully, um, hopefully a, a fourth type of, of um, beacons will, will soon be invented one day. We already got the, our first, um, type of beacon, the incandescence. Then we got the second, which is strobes. And then we got, then we currently got our third one, which is the main beacon that is being used on every tower now, the LED. I can't wait to see, um, can't wait to see the fourth type of of uh, the fourth type of type of LED. No wait, no the fourth type of of tower beacons. If we ever get a fourth type, or they may just stick with LEDs, I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully one day that'll change. But that'll probably be in in the future. Well, that'll probably be a long time from now. So um, yeah, that's some. Um, that is the best I'm able to do right now. I don't know much about the evolution of beacons or the history of them either. But that was, I tried. Um, I at least tried. So yeah. There's that. I'll see you guys later. Bye.